Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix uh, lagging, freezing, stuttering, and FPS drops on CS2. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what you need to do here, you just need to right click on it, uh, right click on your uh, monitor, desktop, show more options, and uh, open up NVIDIA control panel or EMD. Right, then go to manage 3D settings, then press add and add CS2, and then tweak some settings. So, First, a monitor technology, make sure it's G-Sync compatible. Uh, power management mode, make sure prefer maximum performance. Uh, high, uh, preferred preferred uh, refresh rate, make sure highest available. Uh, texture filtering and a subtropic sample options on. Texture filtering quality, high performance or performance. Uh, texture filtering, try, uh, try linear optimization on. Threaded optimization on. Uh, vertical sync is... Uh, by default, uh, virtual, virtual reality pre-rendered frames too, and uh, apply the changes. And after you apply the changes, you need to do a few things uh, as well before we go with other steps. So make sure you uh, go to settings and uh, make sure your operating system is fully updated. So go to Windows Update, uh, check for updates, and if there is an update for you that you need to download and install it, please do so. Same thing with your GPU drivers. I'm using NVIDIA, so there is an app. Uh, I can go to drivers. Uh, and then I just need to look for uh, here for drivers if there is some drivers that I need to download and install it and if I need to and if you need it to uh, please do so as well right then the next step what you need to do here you just need to go to uh, settings then you need to just write uh, temporary uh, storage settings and then you need to go to temporary files and you can uh, delete all the temporary files because you don't need to worry about it because it's just uh, cache files but uh, preferably you need to delete this one uh, if this one can cause stutters so i like to delete all the files but for you you can just delete a, a dx12 cache uh, file next thing what you can do here you just need to open up steam uh, on Steam, go to Steam icon on the top left, press on settings. On settings, you need to go to downloads, and then it will be this option here, clear download cache. Uh, press on clear download cache, uh, Steam will restart, and you need to put your password again. And as you can see here, this one will help you uh, starting apps, right? So go ahead and try this. And if this do not work, uh, what I suggest you to do here next is to go to on CS2, right click on it, go to properties, uh, make sure to always run uh, uh, CS2 in full screen mode, just you can right here, uh, full screen, because uh, it will be the best performance on full screen mode. Next up, what, what you need to do here, you need to run uh, CS2, then you need to go to a test manager, then uh, currently I'm not running uh, because uh, of this video, uh, not running the game. I will show you, for example, how you can do it on Steam. You just need to look for CS2 EXE file. Uh, in this case, will be Steam. Right click on it, go to uh, details, and then you should see EXE file, then set priority, and then make it to high. Uh, next up, uh, what you need to do here, you need to go to edit power plan options. Then you need to go to power uh, options and make sure to uh, select ultimate performance. If you don't have this option, uh, select high performance. Then go to graphic settings. In graphic settings, you need to go to uh, change the uh, default settings. Make sure it's GPU scheduling. And then you go back. And then here you need to look for CS2. If you do not found a CS2 here, mm, uh, I just found it, but uh, you just need to go to options and make it to high performance. Same thing here, high performance. If you can't find CS2.exe file, you just need to go to Steam, right click on CS2, properties, install files, browse, and then you need to go to content, uh, lagging, uh, and then here, somewhere here should be a exe file, so maybe on CS2, uh, not problem not here content game binary win64 here should be a exe file and then you just need to copy the path and then you just need to go to graphic settings and then if you don't have this added and then here you just need to paste the path right 
and it will be exe file if uh, uh, this do not uh, it's not added to the the list right and now let's go to in-game settings uh, on video make sure it's always full screen expert ratio it's up to you you can use uh, whatever you like uh, and then make sure refresh rate is uh, basically uh, the same as your monitor is 144 240 uh, whatever it is right then go to advanced uh, video make sure boost player contrast is enabled then make sure vertical sync is disabled uh, then make sure uh, nvidia ref uh, reflex low latency if it's available enable then make sure uh, current video uh, values uh, it's just a preset so multi-sample anti-aliasing mode is cm AA2, global shadow quality low, dynamic shadows uh, all, uh, model texture detail medium or low, textual filtering and isotropic 4x, shader detail, particle detail on low, ambient exclusion disabled, uh, high dynamic range uh, performance, and uh, fidelity FX super resolution is disabled. And this should fix your problem. Right, so yeah, that's pretty much it.